Hello there and welcome. My name is Linda and this is my channel Linda T70. It's really good to have your company today. If you've been here before, thank you very much for coming back. And if you just happened on my video by chance, um, I hope you'll enjoy today's content and I hope you'll come back and see me again. Um, I've got a different video for me today. Uh, I've got, I've been sent by the cosmetics company MAC a selection of uh, products to try. Now, this is a, a fairly random surprise that I had. Um, my, it just so happens that my son happens to know somebody that works for MAC, told her that I have a, a YouTube channel and um, they said, well, would she like us to send her a few bits? So I've not paid for any of these things. I didn't choose any of these things. It just came randomly. Um, and thank you very much to her for doing that. Um, but I, I, and I have told her that I'm going to review them and give my opinion. So that's what I'm doing today. Um, now, I've done already done the second part of the video with me trying the products on. Um, so today, this, this first bit is just the introduction really and just to show you the products because I didn't use them all because some of them are just not suited for me. I always thought of MAC as being quite a, a young person's uh, uh, makeup brand but apparently they're part of L'Oreal and they, you probably know this, I didn't, I had to look all this stuff up because I don't mind the effort I go to for my viewers. Um, and they apparently used to be um, like a, a studio makeup. Uh, they, they developed makeup for the films and TV. So they're, um, they're quite expensive, I think. But uh, And I know some people that actually do use them and are pleased with them. But this is just my opinion today. Um, so there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's twelve items, but I'll just rattle through what I've got, and then I'll talk about them more on the um, sort of get ready with me video that you will see at the, in this video. So the I'll do this first one um, because I just had to look this one up because I realised I hadn't made a note of it. Um, the first thing to show you is the. Petal, it's the Plenty of Pout Plumping Lip Gloss. Comes in this container. Um, I'll just give you a quick show of, of this. So, and it's one of those that um, it kind of makes your lips tingle. So, although I don't know that that really works, but anyway, that's what that one is. Then um, the other item to show you is the their foundation. This particular foundation is called the Studio Fix Face Pen, which looks like this. This is the shade of um, the contents and it's got a sort of a pumping action thing to, to get the product out of this. Um, oh, where are we? Sorry. <laughs> Fool. Um, if you can see. Are you going to focus? Are you going to focus? Anyway, well, you you sort of see what I'm showing you. Um, I do not use this in the, uh, the the get ready with me because I tried it. Um, I had a couple of goes at doing the makeup get ready with me video or part of the video, and I found it really quite difficult to film because um, I don't have very much space in my bedroom and I had to try to get the camera at the right angle. So it's I had to do it a couple of times and. I don't, so I tried this basically and I didn't, it didn't suit me. The colour was wrong um, and the, it really sunk into my pores and my, my wrinkles. So it, I just, in, I used my own foundation for the get ready with me. I didn't use this, but I'm showing it to you because if you'd have, if I'd have had young skin, I think it went on very nicely. And I think if I'd have had young skin, it would have been a nice finish. The, 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 as far as I'm aware, the girl who sent me all the products, I don't think she knows what I look like. I don't know if she knows what age I am. I don't know if she knows my colouring. No one has ever asked me for that information. So I think this is just a bit of a random amount of uh, random uh, products. So anyway, so that's the... Um, and this re retails at £28. Um, the, um, the, sorry, this 
this was £22. Uh, the next item is a MAC Skin Finish Bronzer. Um, I will show you that in the video. It's in a nice little container. This is about £30. Sorry, there we go. That's £30. Um, the I've got two Locked Kiss Ink uh, lipsticks. They are £32. They are kiss proof and transfer proof. I didn't try these because they of the, the colours, but I will show you them. It's like a kind of like a a gloss thing. So if I just put that on my finger there, it's uh, it's far too dark for me. So and it dries so that you you know it it does stay on. I did try it on my I did try it on my lips, but it's just not for me. And um, this one, which is equally dark, it's a kind of Halloween colour. So those two, they are the, uh, what did I say? The locked, locked Kiss Ink, Kiss Proof, Transfer Proof and Waterproof Liquid. Um, I gather that the foundation, by the way, is also waterproof. Um, but as I say, I just cleaned it off quite quickly, so... I don't know. Um, then we've got the Lustre Glass Lipstick and I was sent this colour which is Kismet and this is a, I, I do try this in the video, kind of a corally colour. Um, what do they say about this? Um, this is 18, sorry this is £18.70 at Boots, but it retails around £24 normally. Combines weightless pet wear nourishing formula for supple cushion, conditioned lips. Um, so that's that. The next thing I was sent was the Go Play Blush, which again is kind of a... There's the packaging. Um, a corally blush colour. I'm trying to get it out of the um there we go out the thingy bob the container. Um so I have tried this and I do have that on in the video and it's kind of it's very tactile it's sort of bouncy I don't know you can you can use it with your finger or with um with a brush. It says lightweight spongy texture all day wear immediate radiance use fingertips or brush to apply so that's that um, the next thing is, I've got two shades in the same thing. These are Powder Kiss Velvet Blur Slim Stick Lipsticks. Easy for you to say. These are the two shades I've been sent. Um, and they are, as the blurb says, in a, whoops, in a slim stick like this. Okay, so I do try one of those in the following video, bit of the video. Um, and then, yeah, this is, I do like this. This is a, a little palette, a, um, an eyeshadow palette with a kind of cute um, case. And... I have tried these colours. These are my type of colours. They're fairly neutral. Um, I And I use those in the video that's coming, a bit of the video that's coming up next. I did get sent these two things as well, which I didn't really like. Well, I, I didn't really know anything about MAC before anyway. I, there's a, a shop in, in our town. I'm sure it's a MAC cosmetic shop. And I've walked past it before. And I've sort of looked in and, and the, the staff sort of seem to be standing there staring into oblivion and it's never kind of made me feel like I want to to go in there um, <clears throat> and given that they're quite young I just made an assumption that the, the the people that use this brand are fairly young but this is a as part of their um, products they've got a Whitney Houston this is the packaging um, what do you call 
a range that's the word i'm searching for sorry old, old person moment um this is a i don't know if i wrote the prices down for these um but this is a lip gloss uh which is let me see what it says on the packaging it says that's the ingredients oh it's a lip gloss um a lip gloss so it's a you know very shiny lip gloss so yeah this one's dried the bit that's dried is really quite it's on there forever now um this color which is not a bad color actually but um sorry i didn't really give you very much time to to look at that did i um if you can see that okay and the other thing in the whitney houston range these are the last two products to show you um is a lipstick in this same packaging and this is very dark this is called this is a matte lipstick and the color is nippies sensual red and running out of fingers really aren't i just put it on the back of my hand yeah it's um it's very nice it's very bright it's just not really me so um they, i will be finding other homes for these so that's just a quick run through of the mac products um apologies if the second part of the video goes on a bit but but um i didn't realize i took that long to put makeup on but um i hope you enjoy it i mean obviously if this isn't your cup of tea um i hope to see you in my next video um but um and also before i go any further i'm i'm i don't think i'm not sure if i said it at the end of my last of the of the get ready with me bit of the video but thank you ever so much for watching thank you so much for subscribing thank you so much for all your comments um it's it's always a joy to to be in touch with with uh, people and it tends to be the same people that message me most of the time and it's 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 very nice but if you have any comments about anything at the end, apart from the fact that it's going on a bit and I'm going on a bit, um, do let me know. So I will see you in a bit. So you take care. OK, so the MAC foundation is not for me. Um, it went on nicely. It wasn't the right colour, I don't think, for me. Um, it It's... It, that basically while I was actually applying it I could see that it was going into my pores and into my wrinkles and I kept sort of smoothing it but it still seemed to do that so so it just, I think it just enhanced my wrinkles and probably made me look even more wrinkly than I am um, I think it would be good perhaps for somebody with a younger skin. I'm going to pass it to one of my daughters actually who likes MAC cosmetics and see if um, if it's suitable for her because she's yeah you know she hasn't got any wrinkles um, and, and um, I can always let you know if you're interested in the long term how it goes with with her but it's not for me so I've basically um, I'm going to try some of the other things for you. Um, I've put some um miracle prep sort of primer stuff on hold on running for my glasses again well not running uh this is max factor miracle prep three in one beauty protect primer Prim primer um with ginkgo is it ginkgo um yeah uva and uvb protection blah 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 pollution protection so this i mean i've had this for ages and uh, i just slapped that one over my moisturizer and i've put i've used a bit of my um erase my maybelline eraser around my eyes which is something i've seen nearly everybody use um that you, who who wishes they owned maybelline at the moment um and the foundation i've gone for is this number seven and it's Protect and Perfect Intense Advanced All-in-One Foundation. It's got an SPF 50 plus, it says, and the colour is cool beige. Um, I mean, I just basically, when I bought it, I went by this bit I could see. But um, 
I usually go for I choose a colour with the word beige in it as a rule and um, I'm not too I don't think I'm too far off the money but you might think differently so I've put all that on now although obviously my wrinkles are still there um, this foundation hasn't settled in to, to my pores so they're not particularly visible um, and I just think it's doing a better job for me than the Mac so I've then I've put on um, some uh, eyelid primers for my eyeshadow before I put my eyeshadow on, and this is Lasting Perfection Stretch Concealer and Eyeshadow Primer, and it's by collection. I know there's all sorts of these things on the market, and it's lasting me for ages. I've had this for ages, and. Uh, it's doing it, it it does its job I mean I think it I, you do get a bit of creasing I mean when you're older you you get sort of heavier lids don't you and of course your creping of your eyelids and your your wrinkly bits um it's all it's all such joy isn't it getting old um but you know, I think it does a decent enough job same as all of them probably so I've put that on so I'm going to now oh, I'll do my eyebrows although I don't really bother with them very much they're quite um, thin and they're a bit more sparse than they used to be. Uh, once you've had your menopause, everything seems to fall out of one place and grow back in another place, really, doesn't it? Which is all wonderful. Um, uh, the, if I do anything to my eyebrows, I do have a pencil thing, but I've, I've got this that I use, which is a 17... Um, what do they call this? Honestly, these guys, I probably need contact lenses, don't I? Um, oh, it says Brow Define Duo. So I tend to go for the very light one. When you've got a fringe, I don't know that people take much. Do people take much notice of your eyebrows? I don't really. I don't know, but I'll just put a little bit of this on. Um, and I just kind of follow what I've already got. Again, you know, I don't really know anything about this. I'm not telling anyone to do the same as me. It's just what I do. Um, I, mean, I don't really like it when, especially a lot of young girls, well, not, you don't even have to be young now to have your eyebrows done, but you've got the microblading and the sort of brushing them up and, um, you know, having them where they sort of start down here and oh, I don't know and I just find I find it really awful um but I I heard somewhere the other day that like the sort of 90s type thinner brows are coming back so that's going to be put, putting a lot of people out of business probably isn't it um I never really had too much problem with my brows when I was young they were never bushy or anything and they weren't a bad shape I didn't think but um you know, I, 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 did, I didn't really have to pluck them or anything, but um, yeah, it all kind of goes south, doesn't it? I've got a little brush thing somewhere you know, to brush it through because um, I think that looks too much on me. But I'll just do it with my tissues. You don't want to sit here while I'm rummaging around in the drawer, do you? Okay. Anyway, so we've done that, we've made an effort, so I'm now going to go to the palette, the colour palette. Um, I do, I'm quite fond of this palette, it's got the colours that I would normally go for. Um, probably the dark grey, unless I use that, you know, as a liner for my lid or, um, you know, if I'm going out in an evening and you want, you, you can re wear something a bit heavier. Um, but the other colours I really like. So I'm going to go in to start with, I'm probably going to use this one, this one, and possibly that one at the bottom and see how they, how they um, feel and how they go on. So I don't have loads and loads of different brushes either. I've, I've had loads of different brushes in the past and not used most of them and um or i forget what i've used for what which i still do even with just a small selection um 
but um, I'm just using a brush like this so so that first colour so just make sure that's rubbed in that concealer um, prim primer rather sorry my eyebrow eye shadow primer oh what am I like um, Do you ever start putting a colour on that you've picked out of a palette and then you go to reload your brush again and then you think, oh, which one <laughs> oh, which one did I poke? Which one did I choose? I don't know. Right, so yeah, I mean again, not telling anyone how to do anything. This is just what I do, so I you too could look like me. Um put that over most of my eyelid and do the other one. go. Quite a nice colour, just a neutral. Um, I don't know if I would have already said, but um, because as I say, this I have, I'm recording this before I do the introduction to the products, but it, it does say that you can blend them with water. But I'm, I don't know, I suppose that might be quite useful for if you're going to use one as an eyeliner for me, but I can't imagine doing it otherwise. Um, your eyes are never, nothing's even really, is it? One side of your body's always different to the other. So, just put a bit more on there. Right. Then I'm going to go for that slightly darker shade here. And I'm going to use probably this brush for that. There's a bit more kind of control over where it's going. All right, let's see the, what the difference is. So the whole, the, you know, putting it in the corner bit, which uh, everyone seems to do now, into your socket. Oh, I've got a rogue eyebrow there. Ooh. I don't know if that's a bit too heavy, all that. Right. So we've got a mirror here, and I've got a big mirror over there, which I'm trying to see from a distance what it's like. I don't know, that might be a bit dark, but anyway. Um, there's, um, I, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm just going to try and blend this a bit, get some of the colour off of this brush. Oh, look at that big old brown eyebrow. I don't like that. We'll ignore the eyebrows, I think. Pretend they look lovely. Right. I'll blur it out a bit. I think that's a bit better. Um, I don't. I quite often see people put highlight colours on, um, which I haven't really done since probably 1984 or something. But um, I don't know. I wonder what this one's like. Sort of pinky shade. It's so difficult when you can't see properly. Um, okay, so, and then I've got a brush that is, um, did I get that out? I'm sure I did. It's funny how things just disappear. You put them down and then you can't find it. Oh, here we are. 
I've got a sort of a chisely end brush. I think because I nearly always put stuff, uh, put eyeshadow under my eyes, and I know that there's a school of thought that says that when you're older you shouldn't because it just makes you look even worse. But I, I, as I've possibly said before, um, I think when you wear specs, um, I think you. I, just think you need something a bit stronger so people can well they do of course they can see your eyes through your glasses but I just think sometimes it's nice to have a little bit more on but you don't want to um don't want to look like a clown do you or the worse than that just looking like Betty Davis out of um what's it killing of sister George or whatever it is um no whatever happened to baby Jane yeah well there we go um, we don't look like her, do we? No, we, yeah, we don't look like Betty Davis. So um, I'm going to go in with that. Um, which one shall I use? I'm trying to. I'm going to stick to this palette. I want to go under my eyes. This dark, this dark brown one might be too dark, but oh, who cares? Let's let's try it. Um, the, the powders seem to be going on quite nicely. To be fair. Oh dear, the old bags under your eyes. I mean, oh there. Right. I probably won't be doing another one of these makeup things because I just don't, I, they're not really um, my thing, I don't think. But there must be other women out there like me that wear makeup but aren't really that interested but we know we do like to find something with the problems that we might have with our faces because obviously dealing with your face when it's aging is when you're young you just put anything on don't you and you look lovely just just a tiny bit of this and a little little tickle of that and then when you're when you're older it's just really kind of difficult to to sort of realise it's the same face and it's easy to sort of point point out I mean no, I, I know I point out everything that's wrong with me all the time I can't help it I'm just like that point your thoughts out before somebody else tells you but um, I think with the ageing thing as well obviously we notice when we're looking in our 10 times magnified mirror but I think people around us don't really take when they see you all the time they don't notice it at all so probably we're worrying too much right so I put a little bit under my eyes which is probably enough um, and I will try a little bit of the darker one above on my lash line um, hoping it won't all fall down onto my face I do hope you can see this. This is a, a, a real. I mean, obviously, I'll watch this back when I finished, and see if it if you can see enough. But it's just really difficult to get all the stuff. In. I do admire people that do this all the time, and they get the camera in the right place, and they've got everything to hand. And but then I'm quite new at doing this. Try this one. I don't know. I don't know. Not sure. Not sure. Oh, let's. Uh, where's my little brush? Oh, they say you're supposed to do all this and that and whatever, aren't you? But I don't really think it's going to make a lot of difference. Um, I don't know. I'm, you're, I'm all fuzzy, so I don't really know. I can see myself in this mirror. At least I've spared you the ten time magnified thing. Um, so I think that's enough eyeshadow. Um, as I say, I think it's quite nice colours and it's gone on okay. But when the whole, when I, the big reveal at the end, we'll see what we think. Um, I also need to put something on my skin damage, sun damage on my skin. Um, this one's a right old nuisance really because I sleep all the time. I sleep on this side, on my right hand side. And um, so I've got 
wrinkles in my in my face, on my cheek there, but not none on this side because I hardly I hardly ever sleep that side. I have to sleep facing. I sleep nearest the window, and I have to sleep fa facing the window, and the window has to be open. I don't know. Weird. We've got our funny little things, haven't we? Hasn't really covered it up that much, but there we go. Right, we're going to put some mascara on. Um, I've had a bit of an issue with this Boots 17. I was raving about it not very long ago because it's only three or four quid or something, maybe a, maybe a fiver now, um, and it worked really well. So I thought, oh, I'll buy another one because it was going a bit dry. So I bought, you think they're the same, wouldn't you? They're called the same thing. But I can't really work out why it is that the original one's brush just felt better because they look the same. It could be my imagination, I don't know. But anyway, so I thought, well, what I'll do is I'll just use the original brush in the new barrel, uh, mascara barrel. And um, so I've got my new mascara and my old brush. But you can't do that because for some reason they're in different barrels. Can you see this bit is different to that bit? So you can't do that. So I've had to keep two, which is um, kind of annoying. But um, yeah, you just can't, you can't, it won't work that way. So anyway, let's just put a bit of this on. Why do they, why, I mean, why would you do that unless they had a job lot of barrels with a different neck and they had to use them up? But why would you change that? I don't know. Um, right, put some mascara on. I hope this isn't too long, this video. Right, so... As I say, um, that I would have used, I would have tried a Mac mascara, obviously, but they didn't send me one. So, um, as I say, I th um, well, I haven't said, but um, I think somebody's just picked up a handful of stuff. Probably didn't know what I looked like or anything, or what, what my colourings were. Um, so I, I've just been. But it's, um, don't get me wrong, it's nice it's kind to of be sent some things to try out because that's what YouTube people like to do, don't they? And um, if it makes some of you think, oh, I fancy going out and buying that, that's great. And other people might think, oh, no, thank you. When I first start, well, started watching YouTube, I think it was like most people. Uh, actually, it was probably a bit before the pandemic because my, sis my, my sister, my daughter, um, used to watch um she likes uh, cleaning and organizing and stuff she used to watch a lot of vid videos that of people that did that and so i started to she got me into it and then i started watching people for things that i was interested in and uh yeah it's um and lots of people and and of course i i bought things that i've seen folk like especially clothes that i somebody tries a dress on or i don't know anything or recommends a, a, um, a type of makeup and um, you think oh yeah so you do get influenced by by things but um, I mean that's not why I'm doing YouTube but uh, it's just kind of a bit of a community really and um, people that are a bit like you and I just thought well there's lots of people with channels over 50 50 plus but I thought well 50 is young to me and it's like 20 years ago so um and now of course there are more people especially recently i've seen one or two new older sort of 65 70 odd past i mean tina's talk time she's over 70 richer in years um showing that we're out there and we're still interested and we're still although we're invisible to a lot of people um you know we are still we've got money to spend well within reason um, we've got time to spend on things and like me I'm I'm at home on my own quite a lot of the time my husband still current husband he still works he's younger than me um, so and of course I do have my children and friends that I see and chat to but um, yes it's just nice to 
to have some to, to have some like-minded people that communicate with you and I've been so thrilled with the people that do speak to me and send me comments um, and, and advice on things because I ask you questions and I only ask you because I want you want you to reply to me no point me sitting here talking to myself is there well, well I know I am talking to myself but you know what I mean so yeah it's been uh, it's been really really nice doing this and um, I know people get sent things like fridges and air fryers and all sorts but I'm not really doing it for that I'm just doing it because I thought we get to 70 I wanted a new thing to do I've never really been a hobby person and I thought well let's uh, let's try this I'm going on a bit really aren't I sorry it's just taking <laughs> too long but I thought I'd better talk because you don't really want to just see me do this do it perhaps you do anyway right shut up Linda um the next thing to do is cheek oh no no I'm gonna have a go at this what you call it this uh, bronzer which I've never ever used a bronzer and I watched Kathy over 50 or something the other day is she Kathy over 50 she's I think she's Canadian and um she's quite quite nice to watch um and she was using bronzer which apparently is different to contour stuff because contours you kind of do this apparently um but I don't know if bronzer is, is a contour as well. Anyway, she said where to put it, so I'm going to go with what Kathy told me. <laughs> she said to put it around here, although you probably won't see that when my hair's done. Around here, on your nose. don't really want to emphasise my nose much more, but there we are. Um, my big old nose. Um down here I don't know I can't really see what I'm putting on around here maybe better stop there because I don't really know how far to go with that and the other thing to put on is to try is this um, blusher which is not my would not be my choice I tend to go for pinky blushes because my reasoning for that is I think well if you blush naturally it's not you know it's pink isn't it so I just think that's probably the most natural colour to go for but that's just my opinion um, I've got a, a, my normal br blusher brush that I use with my pinky blusher so I won't use that I've just I've got this brush I'll, I've tried I've tried this before I tried this yesterday um, I don't think it's really my colour, but it's, um, I would have shown you this, I'm sure, but it's it's really spongy, it's got a really nice texture. I suppose you can put it on with your fingers, well yes you can, but I'll, I'll try with the brush. So I'm going up here, because I think that's what you're meant to do, up there. I don't know if you can see. Because then, of course, it gets it. I'm in danger territory because the bit that I've just covered up with my um, for my skin damage, my sun damage. I keep saying skin damage. Well, it's the same thing, isn't it? Sun damage. Um, if I start putting stuff on there, it brushes. It takes off the, the concealer that I've put on. But try this side as well. I used to put it on the apples of my cheeks until recently and then somebody said oh you can't do that when you're older because it drags your face down. I think Cathy over 50 told me that as well. Um, yeah because your apples aren't really when you stop doing pulling faces they're down here again aren't they. And um, anyway so there's that. And the only other thing really is I do have a where is it? Last if I can find it. Yeah, this is a highlighter thing. It's um I'll put a bit on my I, I mean again I never would normally put this on. Miracle Glow Universal Highlighter. So obviously you can use that in <laughs> various places. Um so Kathy over 50 said put it up here I think it just draws attention to my bags and wrinkles but I 
Oh God, a bit too much. Just checking the time. I have it on, on this, um, it's Thursday today and on a Thursday I have somebody come and walk my dogs. Um, I had, um, uh, four years ago, ju just four years ago, I had my hip replaced um, and I was out of action for six weeks or so afterwards. And um, so I got this lady to come and walk my dogs every day because I couldn't do it. I, I normally walk them during the day. And um, when I got better and I could do it again, um, she I, I kept her on for one day a week. So I don't want you thinking, was well, she sitting on a, you know, what sits at home and she should be out walking her dog every day. I do walk them every day, but it's just apart from Thursday. And it gives them a chance to run on, you know, socialise with other dogs. And... Um, yeah, have a little, have a good old run about, and they're they're schnauzers. They're not great danes, you know. They don't know. I don't know about great. I've said that breed, and they probably don't need a lot of walking either. They're not the sort of dogs that need to be like Labradors. You have to run and throw balls and um, chase after them. Thank thank God, we we purposely got the, a sort of breed that kind of adapts to you. So <laughs> they do, they do a lot of sitting and watching YouTube. Um, okay, well I put a bit of that on. Now the last thing to do is to have a go at um, this lip, these lip colours. I'm going to put one on now to show you what it looks like and then what I'll do is I'll turn the camera off and I'll dry my hair and then because out of the, out, I never finish a sentence do I? Out of the colours I've got there's two that I'd try, the other colours, um, the lip glosses and things, the darker lip glosses which I will have shown you um, just aren't for me at all, they're not not my my cup of tea so um i'll try it this one first i'll try do that now and then you can see what you think and then i'll turn the camera off i'll dry my hair and then i'll put the other one on and you can tell me what you think and that will be that so let's pull this out a kind of little bullety shape container um let's see what we can find uh, which one have I got? I don't know which one to use, which liner. Um, no, that one's no good. Oh, it's, I'll just use this one. doesn't really matter. I kind of smudge it in anyway. Okay, so it's quite funny watching people put stuff on their lips. Right, here we go. I know that um, you're supposed to do this thing, aren't you, to make your lips look fuller, go straight across. Um, I've sort of tried that and I thought I looked stupid. It just looks like you're an old, you know when you're, uh, you're an old, I do it myself. You, if you go somewhere like you've eaten and then you want to put your lipstick on afterwards but you don't want to make a big thing of getting your mirror out. So I get my lipstick out and I kind of do this. And I think that's what you kind of look like if you put that thing across. So, And I quite like this bit of my lips. The Cupid's bow, I think you call it, don't you? Uh, right. Okay, so there's that. This is the colour. Again, I keep saying this, I wouldn't naturally buy, normally buy this. I would, I think every lipstick I've bought in the last couple of years has been more of a, what I think is a neutral shade um, uh, or a natural shade. But um, I would norm, I suppose I'd sort of err on the side of beigey or pinky colours, but this is more orangey. But anyway, we'll see what you think. Let's just put this on. Don't know, what do we think, Betty Davis or what? Could have rubbed that bit in a bit better, couldn't that, that line? Right. Hmm. 
it's okay it's okay right I'll be back with you in a minute and we'll try the other colour it's in a sec right back again um, I've dried my hair I've put this other colour on um, I don't know what you think I don't know if you think darker colours on lips suit me or not as I say I've always kind of erred on the side of caution and gone a bit more neutral um, somebody did write in my comments that um, a stronger colour would they thought I should try a stronger colour um, so yeah let me know what you think um, yeah I, I don't think it's bad at all this makeup I probably wouldn't buy any more for myself but um, it was nice to try it and I'm grateful that I was sent some products to try um, oops so anyway um, I'm oh, I see my little dog in the corner <laughs> um, thank you very much for watching this video I'm sorry it's been ever so long it, it feels like it's been very long um, I look forward to seeing you in the next video hopefully you've stuck to the end but obviously you can always fast forward bits can't you so I suppose that's one mitigating thing isn't it um, lovely to have your company today and I will be back with you very soon with another video so thank you and bye bye <laughs>